Well, today, flight attendants returned to clean out the East Boston apartment that they had been renting, an apartment that the city says is illegal. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Paula has the night off. More than a dozen flight attendants shared that space, but as WBC's Beth Germano shows us, their landlord says there's nothing illegal about it. Sorry. <laughs> Just after noon, Boston police arrived to help three women as they removed bags and bags of belongings from an East Boston apartment now deemed to be illegal. Please, do you want to tell us anything about why you use these apartments? They had no comment as they loaded up their vehicle, but according to Boston's Inspectional Services Department, this was a so-called crash pad, an old service garage converted into a four-bedroom apartment and used by as many as 19 flight attendants during layovers at Logan Airport. You know, it was a fire trap, so we had to uh, take action right away. Pictures reveal tightly packed bunk beds, paint cans, and other hazardous materials stacked up. And according to ISD, no working smoke detectors, a place to stay for $300 a month for attendance with no permanent address in Boston. It caught the attention of housing advocates. And when people pay their rent month by month, they're paying for a house, an apartment, with the dignified conditions they should be, they should have. ISD says it was one of the flight attendants who notified the fire department about the hazardous conditions here, a crash pad that had been under the radar for at least a decade. That's not too uncommon here. There's, a, I think, a lot of housing stock and garages and different properties being used to, frankly, pack in a lot of people that can't afford housing. The landlord, Aaron Degno, claims these are the documents that show the permits for the storage and use of flammable liquids, and that his property is registered with ISD, which disputes there was any permit for people to live here. They were concerned about the safety as well. You know, so they made the call. They did the right thing, you know. It's now cleaned out, and the city says no one can return until permits have been filed to make it a safe, livable space. In East Boston, Beth Germano, WBZ News.